What's up, Capricorn? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? Come on in here, hop on the couch, kick your feet up, relax, and enjoy yourselves, boo. Grab your weed, your blunt, your cigarettes, your drink, your drugs, hell, your fruit, your water. Y'all know I don't give a fuck just to you. But allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you show me because you don't have two booze and you do. And for that, it truly means the world to me. Thank you. I love you so much. All right, my lovely Capricorn, this is just a reading. I just um, asked Spirit to give me some messages on what's going on in your love life. All right, so the cards that I pull for were the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Chariot, Cancer, and Death, Scorpio. So this person wants to reveal their truth, okay? They came into some clarity now, okay, about moving forward with you. And they want to come together and work on the relationship, Right after an unexpected ending, they want to rebirth with you now because they went through a transformation. They've gone, yeah, they've gone through a transformation. Okay, oh, what's up? But let's clarify, see what we get. Okay. All right, so this person was very charming and charismatic, knew all, knew all the right things to say. Smooth criminal, okay? Talking right about your panties or your boxes. Um, they could have had a lot of suitors, more than one. A little stubborn, a little arrogant, a little bit into, you know, too much into themselves. But... They are go-getters, and they know what they um, want, and they're about to initiate some type of um, action. Yeah, they're about to offer you an apology. They want to offer you an apology due to starting a new love affair with somebody else or being connected to somebody else intimately. Could have been this King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this person still has a whole lot of hope and faith, okay, for you in the connection. They just feel that you... Yeah, they still feel that you're their wish fulfillment. And um, they just feel you're a little cold and distant and hard to reach right now, just for some of you, because they feeling abandoned, okay? You could have blocked them, but they've been feeling tossed out, rejected, and left out in the cold, all right? Yeah, they could have had you and somebody else literally hanging by a string, they could have had a drug, alcohol, or sex obsession, but there was some toxic shit looming, hanging around your relationship, okay? Could have been dealing with a, um Aquarius, uh, another Capricorn. But this person still sees you as their ideal wifey, their future wife, their ideal woman. You could be currently pregnant by them or the mother of their children, all right, but they ready to build with you. They ready to have shit with you. They want to build a legacy with you. They want to build a family with you. And they will be coming in in a hurry, coming in, yeah, in a hurry towards you to give you some type of fast communication. And there will be passionate communication going back and forth between both of you. Okay? But, um, oh, no, we ain't, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. Okay. So, um. 
yeah, they're ready to bring balance back into the relationship because you still got your you still got your guards up, okay? You still got your guards up and you still feel a little paranoid for something that they did or somebody that they messed with in their past. And you still Yeah, you still got you still carrying you still you still got carrying baggage. You still carrying a grudge behind that. Okay, it could be a um, for some of you it could be a Sagittarius. Okay, but yeah, but they know you holding a grudge and baggage, and they know that your walls are you still guarded for them messing with you know the Sagittarius, and this is why they want to bring balance back into the relationship. All right, like I said, they got clarity now. They went through a transformation. I see two transformation cards. It's three moving forward cards. So some of you will be definitely moving forward together if y'all ain't already moved forward together. Okay? All right. Yeah, some of y'all will be going half on the baby and shit. Because mm-hmm. all they need is your body next to them. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this, for some of you, some of you, this person will be coming in to give you some type of fast communication, okay? But this person was a player, you know, very in and out in their energy, very unstable in their energy. And this is why you're still holding on to a grudge. You're still carrying baggage because of that, okay? You could be carrying baggage because of this King of Wands, like I said, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, you're looking for karmic justice. You're looking for revenge, and they want to rebalance the scales for this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? They want to balance lying, cheating, and getting away with um, being deceptive with this um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because this person has been stressing, having sleepless nights, crying themselves to sleep at night, can't stop thinking about you or the connection, okay? Replaying shit over and over in their head. Could be... Did I say you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Okay, because they still holding on to you. They haven't let you go. They've been holding on to you like a vice grip. All right. They want to ask, like I said, they're looking for your forgiveness. <clears throat> Excuse me. They making a judgment call and they letting go of all judgments and all grudges so that you guys can reconcile and move forward. All right, you could be dealing with an Aries. Not Aries. You, some of y'all dealing with Aries. You could be dealing with Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, this person been t- probably trying to muster up the strength and the courage to approach you, for some of you, you know, and for some of y'all, y'all just been holding y'all feelings back from the relationship and the connection, okay? But for some of you, this person feels a strong pull towards you. You could be dealing with a um, Leo, okay? But they re- they want a rebirth after this unexpected ending. Could have been an unexpected ending due to a Leo or a Scorpio. Just fly to your life and leave the rest. But this person has been feeling abandoned and left out in the cold. Okay? Rejected. Ever since you blocked them. 
They want to come out the cold. They want to rebirth with you because they went through a transformation. They've gone, they've gone through a transformation. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yeah, they want to come out this cold from this third party situation. All right, they want to reconcile so you guys can celebrate being back together. You know, you probably get, you probably had a lot of fun with each other. You know, probably shared a lot of fun times with each other. And they want them fun times back, okay? Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Well, yeah, okay, but there was a third-party situation, okay? Because there was some heartbreak due to a third-party situation. So this is why they feeling tossed out, rejected, left out in the cold due to this third-party situation, okay? Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right? And they step back to do their own thing. All right, with this uh, third, when they dealt with this third party situation, they've been dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. But you've been doing good. All right, you've been smelling good, looking good. You got the bag. You ain't worried about nothing. All right. Like I said, you ain't worried about nobody cheating on you, lying, lying, trying to get away with lying, cheating, and being deceptive. But this person has been going through a profound sadness that they had to move on from you in a relationship. They've been dealing with this uh, king, of, king of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, they're emotionally invested in, in you, like I said, you and the connection. And they ultimately want the connection to become closer because they're trying to move forward with you. They're trying to manifest a relationship, a relationship with you. All right. You, this could be the parent of your child. All right. You could be dealing with this Queen of Cups. Uh Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, but there was some arguments. It was a, you know, a fight. Okay, an altercation. You could have had to compete for their love, fight for their love. All right, it could have been jealousy, or it could have been just a fight, a fight amongst you, you know, between the two of you, arguing, fussing, fighting, just a lot of, you know, bullshit. Just, um, but you could have been fighting with the parent of their child as well. Just apply it to your life and leave the rest. Could have been dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, and this this person knows if they if they come towards you, they better come correct or don't come at all because. Okay, you ain't playing no games, and you ain't about that bullshit, especially when it comes to this person. So, yeah, you willing to talk, you willing to, you willing to listen to them and hear what they got to say, all right? You could be dealing with this Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because when my Queen of Swords pop up, she's heartbroken, torn, and scorn, but she ain't playing no games. Yeah, but this person still finds you hella sexy and attractive, okay? And they like how you fire in passion and you make shit uh, happen with a lot of passion. But they also want to, uh, for some of you, they want to, uh, it was a fight, it was a dispute, it was an argument, fussing, fighting, due to this uh, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Okay. This is why they cut you off due to this Queen of Wands. Yeah, but this person is ready to be stable, committed, and grounded and rooted with you now. Okay? And they believe in family, marriage, and long-term committed relationships. This person could... You could be dealing with this King of Pentacles. They could have a lot of money. Yeah, this person walked away only to find out that the grass went greener on the other side. that fire sign but now they're trying to manifest a relationship with you could be dealing with a, um, a Virgo yeah because they want to take a leap of faith with you all right for some of you guys you could you you took a leap of faith and moved on some you know somewhere else but they ready to take a leap of faith with you they don't care where you guys may end up they just willing to take that chance with you you could be dealing with an Aries Scorpio
Yeah, because they still they feel that you guys are a perfect match, a match made in heaven. Oh, and that at one point, at, and that your souls are magnetically magnetically connected, and at one point you could you guys can get enough of each other. That is so sweet. Okay, that's what's up. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Yeah, they're ready to offer you a solid, stable beginning. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, they're so sweet. Yeah, because they've been re-evaluating re and reflecting on what they was doing and what they wasn't doing in a relationship. Like I said, they got clarity now. They went through a transformation. All right? And they know you invested in a, a lot in the relationship. Now they're ready to invest. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hey, that's what's up. Like what I tell you, they're ready to put in the work. Okay, they're willing to put in the work. They're ready to put in that work. They're ready to fix what they broke. They're ready to sweep you off your feet, make things more committed. Oh, that's what's up. Could be the little Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And you will be hearing from them, trying to communicate with you, getting back in your good graces and shit, trying to flirt with you. All right? But it is a page of cups. It is a small offer. It is a yeah, page, so it is a small offer. This person's... This person, uh, or you could have saw love messages on what love produced. Yeah, you could have saw something online or saw them in real life. Just apply it to your life and leave the rest. But this person spies on your social media and spies on you in real life if you don't have a social media. You be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hold on, let's get another star. Yeah, because they still see you as their star. You, you still their star player in their eyes. Okay, and they still got a whole lot of hope and faith for you guys. They still feel you their wish fulfillment. They just feel you a little distant and cold and hard to reach. You could be dealing with Aquarius. Yeah, they want to come back around. They want a second opportunity, and they hoping that the wheel turn in their favor. All right, could be dealing with Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Yeah, this person changed. Yeah, and they're ready to come together. They they willing to work, come together and work on a relationship with you now. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. My bad about the commercials, y'all. Yeah, because they've been waiting patiently for you, waiting, waiting on you like waiting, like I said, waiting patiently, missing you like crazy. Wondering if you're going to ever return, okay? And they also could be waiting on these ships to come in. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, because they're ready to offer you their cup of love. They're ready to offer you a brand new emotional beginning and their cup of love, and it's overflowing. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You know, because ever since they've been without you, they've been acting like everything is fine. But everything is not fine. Okay? They've been going through it without you. Okay? Can we deal with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Yeah, ever since you cut them off. But they're ready to come forward with some truthful communication. You could be dealing with this King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, this person wants to come truthful about uh come uh truthful about some truthful commu want to come open about some truthful communication about betraying you, backstabbing you in your back, okay? It could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Yeah, with this other woman that they were dealing with, okay? She could be currently pregnant by them or the mother of their children, just apply it to their life and leave the rest. Could be dealing with a Libra Taurus. Yeah, this was their secret. This was their secret mistress. Him and dealing with a Pisces that they took some time out to be alone with. Been dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, they put the relationship to rest to be to, to deal with this person. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, they put the relationship to rest to deal with somebody in their past. 
to do with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They know if they, you know, send offer, you know, send you any offers, you you're gonna reject all the offers because you're over it, bored, and just tired, just disappointed, you know, because they was dealing with somebody in their past. Could have dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Yeah, because they, you felt like they took you for granted because. They said, you know, was messing with somebody in their past and you was just disappointed over it because you carried, you literally carried the relationship, even though it felt overburdened, like you was, like it was depleting your energy. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you, you could have felt like you over it and just, you don't have, you don't want nothing they have to offer due to an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Get you one more card. Yeah, there was an argument, some harsh words that caused a breakup. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, it was an argument because they was juggling you and somebody else. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn. But this person has been waiting for you to open up, waiting for you to come forward. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. Let's get some more messages. Some more, add, get some more added messages. reach out so this person will be reaching out to you so just be on the lookout for, you know for most of you not all of you like i said they came into some clarity and they're about to reveal their truth to you okay next card we got is the love card this is the lover's card yeah because they see um um like i said they feel that you're their perfect match Okay, They're, that you are a match made in heaven and that your souls are magnetically connected and you guys can get enough of each other at one point, okay? And they want to reach out because they want that back, okay? They want the love that they shared with you back. They, they want the love that you guys shared back, okay? The last card we got is clarity or belief. Yeah, they got clarity. They got clarity of the, you know... Like I said, they got clarity of your your relationship, the relationship they have with you now. They want with you, okay? And they about to reach out, okay? And they change their beliefs, okay? So they coming, all right? That's what's up. That's what's up. Let's get another, um, let's get another message and then I'll get you the advice card. Yeah, they've changed. They've gone through a transformation. They've changed, honey. They want you back by any means necessary. By any means necessary. And whatever they, whatever they need to do to get you back, they will be doing that. So be on the lookout, honey. Because they're watching you and they will, and they're about to contact you. miss you so much and they've been waiting for you because they know you're worth it that's why they've been waiting they know you're the one they know y'all meant to be together that's why they was waiting for you they know your worth all right all right we got time you are trying too hard give it time Okay, so some of, so that's definitely some of you will be getting back together if you're not already together. And Spirit saying you're doing too much, you're trying too hard to make it work. So whatever you're doing, just ease up, back up a little bit, cause it's a little too much. You're trying too hard, and you don't want to run the person, run your love interest off by doing too much. You know, by trying too hard. So take it easy, take it easy, back up, give them some space, let them breathe. 
All right. Well, let's get you a advice card. And I'll leave it here. I'm only putting out mint. I'm putting out videos because it's y'all birthday month and Capricorn has been shit before I went since I started my channel has always showed me love so I don't mind showing the love back so yeah since it's y'all birthday month I don't mind just you know putting out videos for y'all my birthday it's my birthday present to y'all happy birthday saying thank you thank you for supporting me thank you for looking out for me thank you for always having the most views viewers and so, yeah views and shit capricorn i'll be playing yeah. go check out my youtube my instagram channel i'm doing daily posts daily messages if you want to ever hear a message on a daily you know since i do this weekly go check out my instagram i'm starting it uh, I'm starting to use, put some use to it. It's the same, uh, what is it? It's BU Tarot. Yeah, go check that out. Still work in progress, but you know, we get there. All right, we got strategy. Let me read it. I said making a plan. So yeah, like I said, they initiate. They about to initiate some type of action to come towards you because they got clarity. They changed. And here they come now. They know they want to be with you. With, 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 with through this clarity, they realize they want to be with you. They realize they made the wrong choice. So now they want to be with you. Here they come. But what this say? This card shows a pen, a journal, compass, and a key. When you receive this card upright, it indicates that this is an optimum time for setting up a very specific strategy for achieving your goals. Write about the direction you want to go in. Consider any potential change in your course that may be needed. Beware of the particulars regarding your goals and have some con conscious plan in mind. Structure the short-term short goals needed to make long-term long -term goal a reality. This card is telling you to spend some time spend some time setting things in order. It's time to take full control, add thought to action, and set your sights on a road ahead. All right. So let me go to where did that at? Is that it? Oh yeah, that's it. Okay. So if this resonated with you guys, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, you can give me a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck as long as you take heed to the message. All right, all right, me loves. All right. So thanks for watching. Until next time, same bad time, same bad channel. All right, this is.